Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Bastard Bonds. Now, when we left off, we had just ventured out of the stockade, and we had made our way into a sheltered little cave area. Now we're going to be heading on once more, and we're going to be entering the Pious Pit. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. An opening in the cliff face leads to a twisting tunnel. A way through the mountains, perhaps? An unexplored location. Let's do it. A port as an extra inventory space is available, and uh, we load too fast. We load too fast. So, let's have a look here. What is actually going to go down? Okay, so, yes, I've read your comments. We have to hold shift many times now. We have to hold shift because it would be a good idea to do that to gain extra risk. And by gaining extra risk, we gain extra attacks. So that's why the enemies are able to attack us multiple times, because they have obviously held shift. Yeah, inside the moldering barrel, you find a torch that seems dry enough to use. Ah, fantastic. Okay, so we can actually get that. Accessories like the torch are equipped in your utility slot. Yes, represented by that. So we're going to be picking that up with our little, little zombie friend here. And we're going to be switching. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? That's a map. This signboard has the layout for the tunnel scrawled on it. In order for you to move beyond an area, you must secure it. This requires that you eliminate all hostile creatures and explore the entire layout. Move toward the red edges on your minimap in order to explore. Sometimes, though, you get lucky and have the map provided for you, like now. You won't be getting any help with the hostile creatures, however. Hmm, <laughs> yes, of course not. Okay, so let's let's hold shift and actually see what we're doing here. Ah, I see. So that's, that's us holding shift. And that is a slime thing okay I'm actually unsure where is my where is my risk meter ah is, is, is it up here no that's that's HP isn't it I'm actually unsure what the risk meter is but uh, I think it's that underneath I think it is that underneath yes okay so we're gonna try and get over there okay I'm going to go for defense here I don't think I really need to use risk on my necromancer but I'm going to use it with the, well, with, with the undead person we have here. Yes. Attack. And again, in actual fact. Oh, I fumbled. Of course I did, yes. Fumble, great. Okay, so let's get some more defense going on there. Uh, attack again. Ah, oh, only four damage, really. Okay, this thing is fumbling like nothing else. It's absolutely amazing. Okay. There we go. Okay, I think we can attack now, can't we? Ooh, so close. So close. It's fumbling like nothing else, though. That's really, really good. Okay, so as you can see, we only took five damage from that fight. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's head on over here. Let's try and examine this. This chest has been weakened by years of moisture and neglect. You, fi you find a handful of coins inside. Ah, very nice. Okay, so obviously money is something that I haven't really been introduced to just yet. I'm going to use risk on our undead warrior here. Okay, let's see. What's that? Mushroom patch? Oh, hello there. Seems to be another slime. Okay, let's do something else here. Yes, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Let's attack. Can I attack again? Yes, I can. Oh, there's a fumble. Of course. Of course. There we are. A little bit more damage there. I'm not entirely sure about the risk mechanic right now. I'm a little bit uh, sort of unsure about it. I mean, yes, it's doing a lot more damage, I would say. But, of course, I just have to hope that this thing attacks me, in actual fact. Attacks the Necromancer instead of anything else. Okay, there's a miss as well. Okay, I'm just going to try and attack with both of our people now. See if we can actually finish it off. Yes, there we go. Okay, excellent. That's what we like to see. Okay, so now we're just going to continue moving through here. We haven't actually taken too much damage just yet, so that's nice. Okay, there's another one of these. Okay, I'm just going to move back a little bit. And we're going to move over here. There we go. Okay, so I would like to move... Well, I'd like to move back one. And then we're going to move over here and let this thing come to us. There we go. Okay, so this is good. Nice 11 damage. Okay, that's fumbling. That's great. Now maybe I can attack again. Ah, oh, that's a miss. Really? Come on now. How can we miss? Okay, let's get back to max HP. There we are. That's what we like to see. And maybe I can do it again. There we go. 
Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go there. There we go. Ooh, nice. Okay, I think I'm getting used to the risk mechanic now a little bit more. Because what you have to do is you kind of have to gauge whether you think you're going to fumble or not. And it seems like that is half of the battle, basically. So we're gonna try and see if that is indeed the case. I think it is, but it could just be me being... I mean, I don't think I actually need to hold it down now. But I think holding it down otherwise is probably a really good idea when you're in the combat scenario, obviously. So we're probably going to get one more slime here. I would definitely say one more slime is probably going to... Yeah, is there? He hello. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. We're going to we're gonna attack. There we go. And now I can move over here. Okay, and let's attack once again. There we go. And maybe I can get another attack. Yes. Ah, there's a fumble, of course. Okay, so I'm still still getting used to the fact that we can now fumble because, of course, I'm not not entirely used to that. So let's just see what happens here with that. Okay. Okay, so now, now attack. Okay, okay, I think I get it. I think we have to just weigh up the risk management. Obviously, it is risk. <laughs> Obviously, that's what it's called. So you do need to be sort of weighing up your circumstances to see whether you're actually going to, well, miss like I just did there, or whether you're going to be able to deal some nice damage. Ooh, of course we missed there. That's just terrible, isn't it? Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Okay, so let's just hit here and hit here, and there we go. We eliminated that once more. That's good. Okay, so... Oh, the area has been secured. Excellent. Okay, is there anything else around here, though? There is. There is a fragrant chest. This chest smells strongly of wine, although most of it has broken and soaked into the wood. You find an unopened file in the corner. And there's a wine tincture? Okay. What does that actually do? Well, let's let's eat this sa- Oh, well, that's, that's the thing. Eating the sandwich is actually not going to do anything, but I suppose we should. Just to see what this does. And that's a healing potion. There we go. And it also normalizes risk break. I... Don't know any of these terms just yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. Okay, so now we can exit, I assume. Exit the area. And we are now level 2, which is excellent. So what actually happens when we get to level 2? Are we going to gain some stats? Are we going to gain some skills? Yes, we are. We're going to gain one skill point here. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, that's the thing. I think I'd probably... Yes, I would like to get more guard skill, I think. Let's do that. Yep, there we are. That sounds good to me. And now what are we going to be getting with our reanimated guard, level 2 soldier? Well, I suppose that's the thing. I wouldn't mind actually getting the exact same spec with this guy. So I think I'm just going to go for some ward because what I would like to do is try and... Wait a minute. Do I need to do that? Wait, let's just see here. Wow, we can actually get the next skill. Gain additional maximum hit points equal to your level. That is insane. That's actually pretty nice. But obviously two. That gives us two. So... I guess that's fine though, because guard is guard is fine. So what I actually also need to do, as I was editing the previous episode, I really need to use both of our characters to attack or defend, dependent on the situation. Rather than just using a dedicated defender, it's a good idea to just see what the situation is and then just go from there. Because from what I can tell, I'm being a little bit too stagnant in the way that I'm playing and I'm just being like, oh, I, my necromancer must defend. No, that's that's actually not the, not the case. It doesn't have to defend. It's just better if it does, obviously. Okay, a pathway winding through seaside caves, tidal pools, difficult footing and a salty chill make this area uninviting. Let's enter. Okay, let's see here. Dusk Light Grotto. Okay, so we have a little bit more HP on both of our fellows now, so that's great. And the reanimated guard is going to... Uh, no, I think we're going to just let our, let, our, let our person go first. It looks as though the passage forward has been barricaded with debris. The debris is loose and you managed to move it without hurting yourself. You have, however, made a good deal of noise. If anything is out there, it knows you are coming. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so let's have a look around here then, shall we? A little bit of water here in every now and again. Ah, hello there. Who's that? That's a Saha Gwyn. Okay. Well, we're going to be... I think I think we're just going to be moving around here. Going to go for some defense. Yes, there we go. And we're going to move around like so. And, oh, I should have used risk there. I should have used risk there. My bad. My bad. Okay. So, let's use defense once again. 
Okay, so now, now, this is the time that we are going to use Risk, I think. Yes. Right, and there's a miss. How excellent. How, how wonderful. Okay, so let's just <laughs> continue to heal ourselves and things, shall we? Okay, some Risk. There we are. Ten damage. Okay, a little bit more. Oh, we fumbled. Of course we did. Of course. Okay, let's just kill that. There we are. We can get rid of it relatively easily. And what's that over there? A discarded pack. Somebody has abandoned a pack full of provisions here. They are old but quite edible. And what's that? Hard crust and burnt steak. This is kind of useless for us, isn't it? I mean, literally, we have a soggy sandwich. Why would we want anything else? Yeah, of course. Okay, so let's take that. That restores 15. Okay, but what about the steak? 25. Okay, so the soggy sandwich was actually equal to the steak. So I guess that's good to know in future. We're going to head around here, I think. Oh, hello there. Who's that? Oh, that's another one. It has a trident, I believe, which is quite interesting. Okay, so let's... Let's see what it's gonna do. Yeah, it's probably gonna go. Yeah, it's gonna go for our necromancer. Of course it is. So let's go over here and then let's attack. Can we attack? Yes, we can. There we are. That's what we like to see. Okay, so a little bit, mm, a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Wow, look at that. We actually killed it in one round of attacks. That's that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so the risk mechanic, getting a little bit more used to it now. Don't really want to go around the side there unless there is some amazing treasure. There probably is that I'm missing, but well. Right now, I'm pretty happy with what we're doing. So, let's see. Yeah, I I kind of want to... Mm, yeah, I would like to get more risk here just so that I can go in defense. And then this guy can fumble. Oh, yeah, that's, that's excellent. Okay, what about here? Do I actually need to move over here? Apparently, I do. Well, that's interesting. I'm actually kind of surprised that this guy is deciding to be so incredibly weird about things. Okay, let's just kill him. There we go. Okay, so apparently holding risk is pretty good. Okay, so let's see. What's that? Ah, we have more enemies. Hello there. Okay, so let's get him moving over here, and I think we're going to use risk just so that I can get defense up a little bit quicker. Okay, let's defend. And do bear in mind we are healing ourselves as well, which is really good. So let's attack. There we are. Nice. Okay, that guy's going to fumble, which is excellent. And now let's attack, and there we go. Wow. We are getting a good hang of this, and it seems like the combination of skills that we've picked, uh, even though they are both the same, which is kind of redundant in my opinion. One of them definitely should have been a range or something along those lines, but anyway, let's, let's see what the cauldron says. Okay, the sludge in this cauldron smells positively foul. Definitely something I wanted to know. Great. Okay, so otherwise, wait a minute. I think we have to head down this way. Yes, we do. Okay. There's definitely going to be another one of those fellows around here somewhere. But where? Around here. Probably in the next red area, I would assume. Yep, there we go. Okay. Okay, so this guy is definitely not going to really know what he's doing. He's literally just going to die very, very quickly. So let's just go defense. Ooh, a critical for 16 damage. Ouch. Okay, well, yeah, I think I'm just going to try and attack you as much as possible here. Let's see what we're able to do. There we go. That's what we like. Okay, so, yeah, wow, the reanimated guard really took a huge amount of damage there, but it really wasn't that much because, as you can see, he's not even at half HP. Pretty cool. So what's this? A mana battery. What does that actually do? Valuable. Junk. Okay, so you can actually sell it, if you so desire. Can I actually put this elsewhere? I, I can't put it elsewhere. That's the only inventory we have so far, so that's kind of sad. But the dry turkey, what does that actually give us again? That actually gives us more, I believe, than the soggy sandwich. Yeah, the soggy sandwich actually does give us a little bit less than that. So I, I suppose that's fine. Now we can just head onward out of the door. Exit the area, thank you very much, yes. Yes, of course, the reanimated guard doesn't really have much to say, but I kind of like the sort of lore about it, when it's just like, oh, the zombie is shuffling behind its master, and so on and so forth. I think that's pretty awesome. But anyway, your band has no stronghold. Well, I'm sure it's going to get one soon, hopefully. As you can see here, we are going into the March Marina, but we'll do that in the next episode. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.